Yes. Wait, you can still vote. In. Yeah, apparently. If I, I don't, I'm gonna start voting too. Oh, my name's not there. Never mind. It's oh. a 14 million. It's a lot of chips, but you know, with Antonius at one point had 14 million with many more people. Wait. You know, he's on a, he's got a lot less chips now. Open. Jack to suited over to Antonius. 15 blinds. Playable enough? Yeah, I mean, it's that suitedness, right? It's just like, yeah, can never be wrong, technically. Especially from a chip EV point of view. I mean, I was thinking about it because it's not the best playability. Million out there. Deuce. But two overs, gut shot, aggression. One would assume we're going to see a turn card, Randy Mustafov, with the gut shot on two overs, Antonius bottom pair. Seven. And backdoor hearts connecting with this seven six deuce flop. Missing a one third. See that from Berardine. This pot could get dicey on a turn. Antonius, with this stack size, probably will be calling. 3.6 million in the middle. We head to the turn. Queen of Hearts rolling off over card to the flop. Potentially a card that Mustafa is going to continue barreling on. But as you know, Antonius not going anywhere. So he's turned a flush draw. A little bit tempting to multi barrel. No million for. Million. And Tony's with the hand that can definitely check call again. Any merit to check jamming this turn and just possible, but I don't think you'll get a better hand to fold. For sure. But you can definitely be charging hands that have equity like this 10 8, two clubs. Rather than playing the guessing game on a brick river where you know you get to the river with bottom pair. A lot of merit. Generally speaking, you'd be check jamming a little bit more often if you can get better hands to fold. You know, if you were. Let's see what he comes with facing the 40% turn barrel. Check call kind of feels, I don't know, really dicey. We get to the river bottom pair. Have some fold equity. Let's just push our equity now, you know, if we get called, we have emergency outs. Curious to hear what the viewers at home think Patrick should do. No, call. He said call. Point four million in the middle, just three point five behind. Ace of Diamonds on the river. Brick City for Patrick. Can he barrel again with ten eight high? It's unlikely for Antonius to hit the ace. A lot of these hands of ace could rejam preflop hypothetically. All in. All in with 10 wow, 8 hikes. The... And Antonius has got bottom pair. Can he make the call for the sickest oh, hand no, of this tournament? Huh? The fact that Antonius hasn't, like, insta mucked his hand. You know, the sickest thing, Randy, is as soon as Ferry 
Ferradine moved all in. And Tony's just kind of gave him the side eye, just like snap staring him down. I mean, look at this. The fact that he's even considering making the hero call here with bottom pair. The yeah. fact that Patrick Antonius has tanked for this long with just bottom pair and also blocking backdoor hearts, some of the natural bluffs that Faradine would have, all the more impressive regardless of the outcome of the hand really just showcasing why he's here at these Triton series competing at such a high level on one of the biggest stages in the world. I've seen Antonis make sick calls, but this would be absolutely madness if he can do it. Would certainly be the highlight of the tournament thus far. Comedy. He can put on the cake. Oh. I had to stop myself. I wasn't sure what he said. He was asking One. how many time banks he had to use. Yeah, he's he's running out. He feels it. Absolutely. Then he looks at his sicker. hand. He's like, I've got a pair of deuces on a four overcard board. Right, let's reverse engineer this. 10-9, 9-8, 10-8, 8-5, 5 So many clubs, hearts. So many hands brick on such a convenient run out for Ferry to blast off with. I really hope it just the one chip flick. Come on, Patrick. Find it. No, no, I think he's going to do it. I'm on the edge of my I, seat. I think so too, because you break it down. This, he shouldn't be jamming a hand like Queen X so fast. Pocket jacks, pocket kings, and you know, Hanzak would be able to bet the flop in turn. He wants to do it, doesn't he? Look at him. He is pained by this decision. His intuition reading in to the snap jam. Tanking for yeah. this long with bottom pair. Trying to get a read out of Ferry. I, I guess one of the main concerns, Randy, is calling and Ferry bluffing with, like, I don't know, a 6x of hearts. Does he ever just knuckle those back? Yeah, it is a consideration. Staring him down. I have one more left. Then I'm dead. do have one more left, Patrick, then your hand will be deemed dead if you're given a countdown. Crunch time. It really is. Can he make the call? After tanking for this long, Ferry coming with the one-third on the flop. One-third on the turn, and he makes the call. Brandy, are you kidding me? Patrick Antonius, ladies and gentlemen. No He's done it. No, no. I mean, take a bow, sir. Calls flop correctly, calls turn. Deep into the tank, three left in this 25K. Makes the call with bottom pair.